Hello everyone, welcome back. I came out on a walk today with a specific purpose of trying to find some animal tracks and that's exactly what I've got right here. I've got the hoof print of a deer and it's my intent to make a cast, a plaster cast of this print. What that means is I'm going to put a liquid in there that's going to go hard and then when I take it out I'll be able to have a mould of the foot that made the print. So let's have a look at what we need. So firstly, you'll notice I'm wearing some gloves. That's because the plaster of Paris powder to some people can cause irritations, so I'm protecting my hands here. To protect my eyes, I've got a pair of goggles here, just in case the powder goes up into my eyes, because I really want to make sure that I am nice and safe. Then I've got my plaster of Paris powder here. I've got a tub here that I can mix in and a mixer and of course something very important is some water so let's see how we do guys so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some powder into my tray now remembering I don't want it in my eyes and I don't want to spread it everywhere so I'm going to be very gentle as I put it in add some water So I've added and mixed and added and mixed and now I'm very happy that I've got the consistency that I want. This is a bit like a, a cream that you might have on some of your desserts or certainly a, a double cream. <laughs> so now I'm going to build a little wall around my print here to stop the plaster running away. Time to gently pour in my plaster. Okay. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gently leave something sticking in here just like that yeah so if you can find a stick lying around or I'm going to use my lollipop stick and that should help me take this out at the end now it's going to take around about 25 minutes for that to go hard and to set and then hopefully with fingers crossed we we'll have to take it out and we'll have that perfect shape of the animal's hoof that made it so don't forget to come back While that's drying, I thought we'd go for a little walk and see what other evidence of deer we could find. Now I know we have lots of deer around here, so hopefully we should find lots of evidence. Now, what might just look like messy ground is actually deer tracks. So coming down here, I've got some here and there, and another one there, and another one there, and another one there. Very often, if you follow a deer track long enough, you're gonna find some other evidence. Here we have some deer poo. So that's quite a bit of proof that we have some deer here, but let's see if we can find some other signs of deer. Ah, here we have some really obvious deer feeding behavior here. They've been stripping the bark to get to the goodness, which is just under the thin bark layer. Now I know they've been eating it because it's not on the ground. Because if they've been scratching it off, it would be all over the ground. But they've been tearing it off with their teeth and eating it. Unfortunately though, it's not good for the tree.
So here we have an example of where the deer have returned to this tree. This ring here is the damage from last year. And this white strip up here is the stuff that the deer's taken this year. In fact, I would say that was probably last night, if not the night before, because it's still quite fresh and green. Something that we can tell from this type of stripping is more or less how big the deer was. So if you think if a deer wanted to reach up and eat as high as he could with a straight neck reaching there, this deer is probably going to come up to around about my chest height. And I found another really clear sign here and you can see this, this dark line, that's where the deer has come through and disturbed the leaves as it comes through. The darker side is the wetter side and over a few days that will dry and it will then again look like all the area around it and the track will disappear. So I've come back and it's the moment of truth. Fingers crossed, did this work? Ooh. Ooh -hoo. I'm very nervous. Oh, we've got something, something here. Let's bring in the water, Let's see what we can find. I'm very excited. I'm gonna get lovely muddy hands now, so you can pick out. Look at that, two big front toes. Take out that stone. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So after a bit of a clean, I think it's come out quite well. We've got two obvious very big toes here and two smaller toes at the back here. Now if I use my chart, my identification chart, the closest thing that we have is this one here, which is a roe deer, because you see the back claws, or what's often called the dew claws, is very, very clear. Here they are, big toes, the two dew claws. Now, one of the things I love about tracking is the fact that I don't know exactly what came through here. All I can do is, like an artist painting pictures, is find lots of different clues, each clue is like a different piece of paint and a different colour to go on my picture. So without actually being here, I don't totally know, but with the evidence I can find, I start to paint my picture. And I think that last night we were visited by a roe deer. <laughs> 